All right, we're at the mill again today. Uh, we haven't been here for like three weeks. We had a real setback in in the milling process. Uh, about three weeks ago, we started to mill through a log and it went in about a foot and the engine just had no power at all. And uh, and so we backed out the mill and, and shut it off. And I was afraid that, you know, Obviously something is wrong, and uh, I was afraid burnt valves probably. This mill has milled out thousands of board feet of boards, and and uh, this is to be expected at any time. You know, we've it's just the nature of things. You know, things wear out, including me. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> so we had a friend come, and he tested. The cylinders to see if there was any compression or much how much compression there was in the cylinders. One, this is a two-cylinder uh, air-cooled engine, and one of the cylinders had a hundred pounds pressure. The other one had zero. Ooh. So we took the head off the side that was really bad, and found that it had a blown head gasket. The uh, head bolts in that side had kind of worked their way a little bit loose and <clears throat> and caused this blow by on the on the head gasket. So we ordered a new head gasket, put it on. The compression is back up there. It's not up to 100 percent, but it I think it had like 65 or 70 percent compression in that cylinder after we did that. So. Obviously, there's some other things that are wearing out, and probably valves, but... Uh, so we got it up and running again, and this is the first morning back after that whole procedure, and and uh, hopefully we can get through this log uh, and uh, <clears throat> see, how it, see how it runs. And uh, we got in the works, we're getting a new engine on hand because at some point this one is going to die and uh, and we obviously have quite a bit of milling left to go to build a camp and uh, we got to get get on the stick and get it going yeah um, so what that, else did, what that, else did we break <laughs> or not we but <laughs> Well, I, I'm not sure any... What, what gets attached to this thing? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, my son's, Greg's tractor has got hydraulic problems right now. and It's, uh, it's pissing out hydraulic fluid like crazy. Uh, it can be used, but, you know, it, it goes through gallons of hydraulic fluid if it's running. So... He's he's got that in the works and getting that repaired. So I'm not sure what else will go wrong, <laughs> but uh, that's the that's the story and that's the name of the game. Uh, when it comes to mechanical things, they break down. Yeah. Well, that's a that's a great update. I'll give you guys if you're new to the channel or if you haven't been following this series that Donnie and I are shooting lately. All of this lumber right here. Donnie and I are milling because Donnie, Stevie, and I are going to build a wilderness camp up in the middle, or actually in the northern part of yeah. the North Main Woods in Zone 2. We're west of Portage Lake. So it's pretty far up there, you know, for us anyway. That yeah. is that considered yeah. the county there? Oh, yeah. I yeah. think that's in the county. Yeah, yeah so, sure. yeah, because we're, we're north of uh, Presque Isle. Right. As, uh, as far as that goes, pretty far north yeah. of... Yeah, and the closest Athens. closest big town where you can get anything of any importance, you know, like uh, you know, mechanical things is yeah. uh, Presque Isle. Yeah, so. and they said it was it was decent little poke away. So. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So just to let you guys know, we're the entire camp that we're gonna build, that or cabin or camp, whatever you want to call it. We're cutting all the trees down for it. Uh, Donnie and Jamie and I have cut down some trees. Jamie did most of it and then we're milling them out. So Donnie's got a pretty good shopping list of exactly what we need. He designed the camp and, and gave us a really good count. So we needed like, I think it was close to- 46 of the 2 by 10 12 footers for the 
you know, the floor system. Yeah. So. so those are the hardest to get because it takes a really nice log to get a really nice 2 by 10 and We we're... got some beauties there, too. Oh, wicked so we beauties. We had some really nice hemlock yeah. that uh, Jamie cut for us. And, and uh, so it's milling out really well. I think we've only had one log that was a little bit shaky, Yeah. Uh, which happens in hemlock. It Not might oftentimes gets shaky. You don't even see. It looks like a beautiful log when you cut it, but when you cut into it, it it kind of separates, and uh, and uh, they call that sh shaky. Yeah. So those uh, we have to throw out. But the, I haven't found too many of them. Or we haven't found. No, too that many. one might have been lightning oh. too. Yeah. Because it had a streak. But but I'll just show you guys, you know, what we've accomplished so far. We're pretty proud of it. I ain't gonna lie, because you know I'm working full time right now in the ice cream shop and. And we, Donnie and I, just been struggling to keep the mill going and everything going. We've had some pretty awful weather, but so here's our stack of two by tens. These are going to be our floor stringers. They're an honest two by ten, full hemlock two by tens. This is going to be our foundation. These are six by sixes. Donnie's going to interlock those together for us. And then we need all sorts of two by sixes. Two. We're going to need a pile of. We're going to need that many two by eights for the rafters, right? Or more, yeah, actually. We're going to need some fourteen yeah. for the rafters. It, uh, 40, I think there's 46 of those. How many uh, 16 footers? Uh, 16s, we're going to need uh, about 20 of those. So that's still quite, I mean, that takes a good log even to get a 2x8 right. still, you know, and get several good clear ones. And then we need over 150 2x4s, 2x4x8s. So we got our work cut out yeah, for us. We got, a, we got a lot of work to do before we can start building and. Uh, so hopefully we can get it done. You know, we're just working at it a little at a time. I'm about good. I wear out about noontime, so I'm good for about four hours, and then I can't do much. <laughs> it's a good time to, to, to quit for lunch, and honestly, that's a good time for me to quit too, so I can get some other work done. So here we're going to work on this log today. This is a hemlock. We should be able to get some beautiful 2x10s out of this yeah, one. It looks like a looks like a cocker, you know, it looks yeah. uh, pretty knot free for a hemlock. That's really awesome and uh, grain looks good in it. So yeah. I think we're going to have a good good stack of timbers out of that. Yeah. And then, you know, if you guys are milling at home or new to milling, one thing, you know, we don't have automatic lifters or, or turners or anything like that so one thing that we do to make sure that we're going to get the most out of a log is you know a logs always tapered it's bigger obviously at the butt and it gets narrower at the top so if you just laid it down flat you'd be losing quite a bit and cutting at an angle so what we do is a lot of times we'll jack up one end and put like a, a shim underneath it whether you know we've gone as much as three to five inches and as little as one inch and that gets you the most and the best cuts along your entire log and it's worth the extra you know one yeah. minute that it takes yeah and it doesn't take much more effort to do that it's pretty easy to do and yeah you really gain on your on your boards on yeah. timbers so yeah and and you know we get a lot of comments on the on the the new channel about how slow this mill is and we don't care <laughs> <laughs> we like cutting wood we like uh we like doing a good job and the mill you know obviously it was getting tired and old and that's why the motor almost blew and you know that's why we got a little bit of trouble now so that's just the speed this one goes it's not a production high production mill it's a you know it's a homeowner right mill and yeah and, and uh you know we got our eye out for when we do replace the motor to put this is a 24 horse motor and uh we're, we're looking out for a, a 30 horse which will yeah you know probably speed up production a little bit and they'll have a little more power and and be able to get through the log quicker and so that's what we're anticipating and uh we'll see how it goes see if we can find one i'm sure we can yeah well guys we you know we really appreciate all the support on the channel you guys know how to support the channel so i'm not going to tell you how but right now the next part of this clip is going to be us cutting this log. It might be boring for some of you guys, but I'm going to let her roll. So either click off now and do the do the support of the channel stuff, or stick around and watch us mill this beauty out and see how many 2x10s we can get out of it. Well, here goes nothing, Donnie. All right. We get a turn this sucker. Oh, we turning it? Well, uh, no. Maybe maybe you don't want to. Actually, i got to measure it. I don't even know where where we yeah, are. you got to... There's a tape. I don't even know where we are on this one yet.
Greg just cut that piece off that we'd started in on. And yeah. So we're at 16, but we're going to lose two inches, so it's at 14 now. So if I took two inches off to get it to us, I think I could take two more inches off and still get us up, and then another two inches on the other side. Shit. I well, you know, we do need some two by eights. Yeah. Uh, so we get a two by eight. What's right? this measure right now? Nine? Oh, eight. eight. Uh, why don't I take one off? Yeah, yeah, one. and then we'll roll it. All right. Yep. Okay. All set for this this beauty. Uh.
good. That's the best I've seen it run in yeah. 15 years. Yeah. I don't know how fast I can go. Well, I think you're going at a good speed. Yeah. I mean, I think I can go faster, but there's no point. No point. Oh. Watch out, big boy. What the hell? What happened to your knee? Oh, I'm working on my tractor. Oh. Look at this. He brought coffee and everything. Wow. Oh, just like Greg. <laughs> Just like Craig, he Greg, buy, Craig, yeah, Craig. He doesn't know how much to go. He doesn't buy anything. Here, a sandwich in here. Oh Jesus, thank you. Oh my God. Where'd you get it? I'm not where I got it. Just eat it. We well, gotta be so. Well, we gotta know how much it is before we get. We, yeah. You know, we gotta know what we're getting into. Here's some sugar. I know it's not sugar. Yeah, I gotta have sugar. Yeah. You know, we gotta know how much we're getting into before we eat this sandwich. You know. I'm not. How are you loading them? Well, not. We had this one on. Why don't you uh, get the tractor and put hydraulic oil on it? You can use it as long as you put hydraulic oil on it. I guess it's losing like a gallon a minute. He says it's... He says... He, he, can, he says racing like a piss horse. But he didn't say we couldn't use it. But yeah. he, we don't want the environmentalists to get after us, you know. Mm. Is the hydraulic fluid uh, natural? Yeah. It came from the ground originally. <laughs> put it back in the ground, what the fuck? That's true. Just you got stung? Yeah. Here? In the truck. Not going over. Were you on Donnie's property? Yeah. Uh, looks, looks, looks like a lawsuit. Uh, assume, I guess. Yeah, I guess you got over. Incoming. <laughs> <laughs> Don, thanks for the coffee and sandwich. Well, yeah, well, I figure you guys never bring me any, so i got to bring it to you. So the mill did something <laughs> weird. It's running the best it's run in 15 years, speed-wise and power. But I started it. And it kicked out a bunch of black smoke, like water or something. I don't know. And then it was like dog, 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 and it stalled. And I was messing with the choke. And then I went to restart it and got nothing on the ignition. And then we waited a minute, and then it started. Yeah. I don't know what. You were wiggling some wires there, so yeah. maybe that had something to do with it. I hey, talk, no, I, that's cutting really good. I talked to Sid. Good. I could hear it all by the road. <laughs> oh, yeah. I talked to Sid. And he said, come over and see his. His is only 20 horse. Who said? Uh, Blueberry Fields. Oh, okay. He's got a Thomas. He said it's 20 horse and it's 36 inch and it cuts great. A Honda. Mm -hmm. So he said, call Thomas. Just call Thomas Saw and ask them what, they, what they're selling, if they'll sell a motor. You know, because they to get a 30 horse. Because I think it comes down to how much uh, RPMs you're getting. But do you need a 30 horse? But I like, don't know. do you need more horsepower or do you need more well, RPMs? I have no idea. Yeah.
Wow, that smelled the best it's milled in a long time. 20 years. I didn't mean to do that one that fast. I forgot to take the speed down from when I was doing the narrow ones. Oh. Yeah, I just yeah. totally forgot and just sent it and it didn't bog down till the end. No. That's crazy how good that's cutting though. Yeah, we're cutting really good. Yeah, sharp blade and a yeah. little extra compression goes a long way, doesn't it? Just to hell. Yeah, go ahead. Beautiful 2x10. Yeah.